Hi, my name is Caitlin O'Hara, and I'm here to show you how to make some homemade high-protein almond bars. So the best part about this recipe is that it's a raw recipe, so it doesn't require any baking, and you only need a few simple ingredients. So for our base, we're gonna have almond butter and honey, then we're gonna add in some oats and dried fruit for, pro or for fiber, and then our almonds and protein powder for a little bit of protein, and then some cinnamon at the end. So what you wanna do first is you wanna to mix together your base. So here we have a cup of almond butter, and then we also have a cup of honey. So depending on the consistency of your base ingredients, um, for instance, some people refrigerate their almond butter, you may want to heat this up over the stove just to make it a little bit easier to work with, a little bit softer. So you just mix these together like so. That's pretty simple. Then you're going to add in a cup of oats and half a cup of dried fruit. So, by using these natural sugars and combining them with this uh, slow digesting fiber, it's just this perfect combination for a long lasting healthy flow of energy. So this is great for getting you through the end of your day or if you wanna start your morning off with it, it's really perfect for any time. So once you have that all mixed in, you wanna add in half a cup of nuts and here I'm using slivered almonds, and then three scoops of protein powder. Now my favorite protein powder to use is the Perfect Fit Protein Powder by Tone It Up. It's really great, this is the vanilla, they also have chocolate, and you can just mix this all together. And then actually you also wanna use a tablespoon of cinnamon just to get a little bit of spice. So, the best thing about this recipe, I think, is that it's so flexible. If you want to use peanut butter, you could use that. You can also use different kinds of nuts or different kinds of fruit. You could use cranberries, raisins. It's really up to you. The other day, I actually used apple butter, and apple butter is just a fruit puree with sugar and spice, so that was kind of fun and added a new element to it. So it's really just whatever you want to use, whatever you like most. It's a great recipe for experimenting. So, once you have that all mixed together, see as you can see it's got a good thick consistency. You just want to spray a pan, this one's an 8x8, eight eight, just to make sure that it's not too sticky. And then you're going to mix, put your mixture in there, right into the bottom. It's a little heavy. <laughs> but you're gonna get it in there. And then you just wanna spread it evenly throughout your pan here. You wanna make sure you have full coverage, make sure it's all set in there. Yep, there you go. And then at this point, you're pretty much done. You just wanna set it into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, let it harden, and then you're ready to cut it individual sizes and take it on the go. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to check out our other videos. We've got lots of recipes to share with you.